Hello, I'm Hot Flashes with Hot Flashes. Back again to bitch some more. We did make a video for Thanksgiving, but something happened and the atmosphere ate it. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it, but uh, happy late Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a good one. <laughs> so, just a couple things. Uh, I know I've talked about in the videos that uh, we are at Kokomo Combat, which is a paintball place. Mm -hmm. And we also go to, you know, we go to flea markets and stuff. Vendor City is one of the flea markets in Kokomo. And I do have a bitch. <laughs> I understand everybody has to take a shit. <laughs> okay? Something we do. But if you're going to go to a paintball place, or to any place. any place and take a shit. Can you make sure you get the shit to go down the drain? Shit in the actual toilet, not on it, around it, or stick it to it. Common courtesy, maybe? I don't know. Uh, just, but that's just sickening. If you got a shit, make sure you can flush it. If you don't flush it, then go in after it, push it down. Are you, are you really, really bitching about this, knowing that we have picked used maxi pads off the walls? Yes. People have shit on the back of toilets. Yes. People have shit in the tanks. People are fucking disgusting when they yes. go to the bathroom. And women are worse than men. Yes, they Don't are. even give me that shit. They are very, they are very I, worse. I all clean up men's piss all damn day long on a wall. But women are fucking gross. It's just, I went into the work bathroom and, uh, gee, before you can even pee, I have to bleach the bathroom. That's just, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, take it at home. Don't eat it if it's going to make you shit like that. And if you do shit at home or something, don't do it out in public. That's just rude. I don't know. That's just, I, I could go on probably talking for an hour about people shitting. <laughs> Please not get her started. Oh, it's disgusting. Have you ever walked into a bathroom, especially if you own the business and somebody wrote in their shit on the wall? That is disgusting. People grow up. <laughs> That's just nasty. Anyways, um, one of the, my other gripes or my other bitch for tonight is this is actually uh, one I told y'all on the Thanksgiving tape, but like I said, it's gone. Um, we go to McDonald's and we got uh, two large Diet Cokes and one large Coke, a large Frappy Mocha, a medium Frappy Mocha, and a medium Peppermint Mocha. Nobody was in the drive through line. We go up, we pay for it, and we sit there, I don't know, five minutes or so. She hands us the three soft drinks, and we're sitting there. She finally maybe had about another three, four more minutes passed. She finally asked us to pull up in a parking spot and wait for our, and I said, you know, really? For, for, for three frappe mochas, you know? Anyways, we end up sitting there after we pulled up about another 10 minutes. Yeah. And by this time, a couple cars come around, gave their order, paid for their order, got their order, and left. And we're still sitting there in this parking spot waiting for these mochas. Finally, she brings them out. Here you go. Thank you. Have a good day. She hand, hands me a, a drink carrier. She takes off. Uh, remember, there was two crappy mochas and a peppermint mocha. Okay? Mm -hmm. All supposed to be cold. All with ice. Mm -hmm. She brings out the peppermint mocha. It's a hot drink. No ice. No nothing. It was her drink. <laughs> so I got out, walked in, and I told them that if they made it wrong, could they make it the right way? Mm -hmm. The guy there gets a scoop of ice. He's like, can you take the lid off for me? Here, this is all we do is just put ice in it. You would have been wearing it if I would have gone in. I listened. Fucking really? Okay. And I walked back out, and I told her about it. You know, six drinks. They didn't get six drinks right. The soft drinks actually taste like shit. Mm -hmm. But we ended up throwing them away. It was just a horrible experience. I, I don't know. That's 
all in all, it was not a good experience going to McDonald's, but it never is around here. If you go in for one thing, you're there for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Whether you go through the drive through or you walk in. And nine times out of ten, it's wrong. Yeah, and not only that, they have uh, they have double drive throughs at McDonald's, mm -hmm. which is double the wait. Yeah, is what that is. So I don't know. It's not speeding anything up, that's for sure. And the other thing uh, that I actually read about last week was about Kokomo uh, garage sale. This lady gets on there and she posts that she has two kids um, and one on the way. And then she proceeds to beg people for money because she has these children and she cannot give them Christmas. She doesn't have the money to give them Christmas presents or anything. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing she knows what's going to happen come Christmas Day. You know, maybe she's foreseeing the future. I don't know. But she's assuming she's not going to have a dime to buy anything for her kids. Mm -hmm. So she's begging people on a Kokomo garage sale. And... I sent her a message back and said, you know, you should look into the Toys for Tots and your local church and everything. And I thought I was actually, I sent it being legit because it pissed me off that she's asking for, for money on the garage sale site a month and a week before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I thought maybe, you know, maybe that was a little too harsh. I was maybe mean to her or something. I looked at everybody else's comments and they all told her, go to your local church you know, uh, go here. They told her places where she can go and get help. No thank you. No, I'll look into that or nothing. She just wanted donations. Mm -hmm. You know, what a piece of work. Keep your legs closed. Quit having kids. Or go get a cut, burnt, tied, boiled, broiled, or whatever so you can't have any more because that's just <laughs> bad, bad, bad. So, I don't know. But as you can see, we're, we're at work now. We already got our tree up. American flag. Go America. Mm, America. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we already got our tree up before even December hits. So, I don't know. But anyways, that's about what I, I had to grab about today. It was a very mild bitch session for me. Poop and people. Poop and people. People poop. Mm. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> Two things I don't like to deal with. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, if you're going to shit out in public, then make sure it goes down. Don't just shit and leave it. Because people don't want to go in and clean their shit. No one wakes up, oh, I'm going to go clean toilets today. Yay, me. No. You're so chipper today. Tired. Why? I'm, this whole moving thing is getting to me. I'm... Very OCD about everything, and I'm trying to decide what to take with me the first trip, and it's just, it's overwhelming right now. She is moving uh, December 20th. Yeah. You know, be here no more, so I ain't gonna have my sidekick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, sidekick's gonna be on Skype. So. After that, but. And I guess it's, it's getting to you. It's stressful moving in general, and. Right. So tell me how you really feel. Uh, <laughs> Some Howard Cosell. <laughs> Howard Cosell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So it just, you know, I mean, the stress of moving and, and getting everything together, and, and my limitation is financially, I can't rent a truck big enough to take everything I own, so I've got to decide what goes first. Right. And leave half my stuff here, which drives me insane because I have issues. And, uh, big, big, no, 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 you just can't say that. I have issues, because they don't know what kind of issues you have. Okay, I have issues with my stuff being moved or separated due to I have rebuilt my life three separate times from the ground up, literally, and every time something good has come through, and I've gone and done what I thought was right for my life, I ended up getting stolen from or the stuff was sold out from under me. I mean, it's... Right. And I don't want that to happen again, so I'm, like, stuffing this van, this poor van, hmm. 
<laughs> is going to be dragging ass all the way to Missouri. Oh, but she has to leave that I'm going to lock up in a room. Yeah. She's going to lock it up and keep it safe for me. But it's just, it's it's the, it's whole, ID, the whole idea yeah. of it. Yeah. Walking away from, because I've rebuilt my life after my divorce, you know, a few years ago. Right. And now I have to walk away from half of it because I have to. Right. But I can come back and get it. But it's, you know, it's it's just one of them things that I'm I'm having to deal with. So I'm having to make these rash decisions. Okay, I want to take this, to, and I have to sacrifice these three items to take this. And, you know, because there's only so much room in this van. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I'm going a little stir crazy, but I've been trying to pack and get everything done. So I know I'll, every day that goes by, I'm like, okay, I only have 24 days. And I only have 23 days. And it's you know it's getting to me a little bit but don't let it try not to let it i'm trying not, try not to, to think but, about it right now you know i mean i'm ready to go home i hate to leave everybody here but i've got to go home yeah it's time for her to go home yeah it's time for her to open up a new chapter in her life and you know finish the book i've been here for five years you yeah. know it's actually almost six years I was six years longer than I ever planned on. So, you know, I was Very only true. supposed to be here a week. <laughs> so, Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah. I was only supposed to be here a week. That's one long week. Talking about Groundhog Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyway, I'm, that's why I'm quiet. I'm just kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been actually a real, a real mild, it's a humdrummy time. Yeah. I you know, especially with you moving. Mm -hmm. Christmas is coming up. <coughs> Everyone's trying to buy gifts for everyone else. You know, that's that shit's already started. Black Friday was a freaking nightmare. Mm -hmm. I swore So we heard. We didn't go. Well well wait, I swore I wasn't gonna go anywhere on Black Friday. I am not going anywhere on Black Friday. And what happened? I had to go get wax. For the floor. A big bottle of wax, uh, for the floor, the new arena thing that we're building. And I had to go to Menards. That's like Lowe's. If mm -hmm. not everybody knows what it is. Um, and I forgot about it being Black Friday because the drive up there, first of all, it's not that far, about what, three blocks away from you, maybe? Yeah, three to five. And uh, pulled in the parking lot. It was a nightmare. <laughs> there was nowhere to park. And it hit me. I come to get wax on Black Friday. Mm -hmm. There must have been 90,000 people in Menards walking around eh, or rolling around or shuffling around or whatever they were I don't doing. even think I didn't go anywhere Friday did I no you were smart you, you I, stayed home. I stayed home I wanted so to <laughs> well I stayed at work is what I did this to say is I, it took me 45 minutes and I got a bottle of wax mm -hmm. one of the big ones um, and that was Walking to it because I knew where it was, putting it in the car, and getting through the checkout line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. And I, I, it was shocking. This morning I had to run to Sam's, and you would have thought at Sam's it was Black Friday because it was just people, wall to wall people. I was like, oh my god. So I don't know. I. I I guess since I've been here, because I couldn't afford any Christmas, it was it's always been just another day for me since I've been here. And my kids are in Missouri, so I didn't buy them anything. They're old enough now; they just want money anyway. Right. So this whole Christmas spirit that I just can't get into it. It's just. Eh. Now my grandbabies, they still they like the presents. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. When I get, if I get them stuff for their age, they're already they're past advanced that. that. So now I just give them money too. And and I guess that's the easy way of, that's the stress free way for me because I get stressed out about it. It takes the magic out of it for me and I just can't get in. Maybe, maybe I may go home on the 20th and be all in the Christmas spirit. Right. But I. The, <laughs> it's, and you know it's not a big deal when you don't have family I have no living family at home literally it's me and my kids and that's it um, so I guess 
it kind of loses its luster after right after a while. several years of by yourself and you know so I can see that mm -hmm. I don't know um, I'm a little lost tonight for words I guess I'm tired myself so we I, both worked today and I was trying to think of something uh, oh I know what it was we are trying to think of a maybe a different name instead of hot flashes Mm -hmm. uh, for our YouTube page um, because it's just when people try to look for it there's medical stuff coming up for hot flashes and we're like on the second or third page yeah. um, but most people don't get to the second or third page so if you have any suggestions about what we could change the name to you know leave them in the comments yeah, yeah and, send a comment or and, go to the group page over on Facebook for hot flashes leave them there anywhere you want right just so we get them um, send us some feedback uh, tell us your bitch of the day I, I've been trying to ask that on every video that that I've put out there you know tell us what your bitch of the day is or something mm -hmm. so tell us that no funny stories mm -hmm. all serious god that's terrible yeah it's kind of vlog and I'm tired that is that is bad we need to Pick it up a notch. <laughs> People, help us here. Ugh. We're running on empty right now. <laughs> we are running on empty. Very much oh. so. And I can't play a guitar. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want me to sing. <laughs> oh, um, I have no talent whatsoever except for scaring people. That's about all I do good. Um, yeah, you do that pretty damn good, though. Thank you. I do have a couple art projects that... that uh, I'd like to do and, and, and put out there. So maybe we can get that going. Mm -hmm. Not tonight. Uh, I'll get everything set up. Maybe we can do it tomorrow or something like that. I did see another slime video. We need to look at. Okay. Um, definitely, though, send us your thoughts. Send us your bitches of the day. Uh, tell us what pisses you off or what makes you happy. And eventually, uh, I will get a, a better camera. So, bear with me on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? No, nope, I think that's about it. Kind of serious tonight. Uh, very short and sweet. Yeah. Um, like, subscribe, go to our comments, tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. That's about it. <laughs> All right. This is hot. This is flashes. With hot flashes signing off. Bye, y'all.